Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala sayyidina wa maulana muhammadin wa alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa hlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli. Allahumma faqihna fi ad-din. Alimna ta'wil ya rabbil alameen. Allahumma urzuqna hubbaka wa hubba nabiyyik. Wa hubba qur'anik. Wa hubba sunnati nabiyyik. Ya Allah grant us your love. The love to your book and the love to your prophet and his sunnah. Ameen. Ya Rabb, bless us with the, this class. Uh, open for us the doors of understanding, Amen. the tafsir of Surah Yus Yusuf. Amin. Amin. Alhamdulillah, we continue, my dear brothers and sisters. We are in verse 23. Everybody, Surah Yusuf, alayhi salam. If you have your mushaf with you, please open. If not, then use your cell phone. Use your cell phone. Surah Yusuf, alayhi salam. Verse 23. Just follow me as much as you can, inshallah. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Wa rawadathu allati huwa fi baytiha. Wa rawadathu allati huwa fi baytiha. Fi baytiha an nafsi. وغلقت الأبواب وقالت هيت لك وقالت هيت لك قال معاذ الله قال معاذ الله إنه ربي أحسن مثواي إنه ربي أحسن مثواي إنه لا يفلح الظالمون إنه لا يفلح الظالمون very good we go one by one one ayah we read and then we do tafsir إن شاء الله like that even those who come late will benefit from the recitation. There is only one way to improve your recitation is to practice and follow someone. On your own you cannot do it. The Quran is a book that was revealed through Angel Jibreel. Even Rasulullah has to hear it. Allah could have said it straight to his heart. No. He has to hear it. So a sheikh will read for his student. Then the student will hear back Listen, uh, read for the sheikh. The sheikh approves. Quran means the book that must be read from the word qara'a, iqra. So a book that must be heard. There is no other way. You must sit with someone, read for him or her, and then they say, okay, correct. Or hear them like I do, and then that's how you improve. With time, you quickly improve, inshallah. All right, verse 23. We saw last week that, alhamdulillah, Allah saved uh, Yusuf alayhi salam and a man bought him. It happened that that man was a very rich man. Wa alaykum wa rahmatullah. Very, very rich man. And he was a minister, meaning he was a man of power in the Egyptian society. He offered him to his wife because they didn't have children to make her happy. And last week, I emphasized on a very important term that the Quran uses. The difference between wife and woman of. 
wife of and woman of. A wife in Quran, the word wife, when the Quran uses the word for the word wife, it is zawja. 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 But when the Quran uses woman, the woman of, you use imra'atuhu. This means unhappy. This means happy. So the Quran is, the Arabic is so specific that from the word, in English you don't know. In Arabic you know. So for a happy couple, we call them zawj and zawja. Unhappy couple, we call them rajul, imra'a. A man and woman getting together. No love between them. They're not really happy. Zab Zawja, that is happiness. So, the Quran said, he gave him, he gave the, he gave the child to his Imra'ah, which indicates to the ulama of Tafsir that that woman was not happy simply because she didn't have children. That's why one of the things that make happy couple is to have children. And grandchildren even make you happier as grandpa or grandma. That's why those couples who delay having babies are wrong, definitely wrong. When you get married, try to have babies first year. That cements the relationship. Even when there is problem between husband and wife, sometimes they forget and forgive and make sacrifices just because of the children. Right? Okay. So, uh, that is, we already have seen that, so no, no need to come back, but I just wanted to, do, to remind you with that, and also for the brothers and sisters who are not here. We will see this with us. As we do tafsir, we will see the word imra'a is used for an unhappy couple. Even when they seem happy, Allah knows the heart. Even when people think this couple is very happy. Allah knows who is happy, who is not. So the Quran, even for Nuh, he used, alayhi salam, he used wamra'atuhu, because she was not a good wife. And his wife. His woman. So zawja, we say it when someone is really happy in her marriage, we call her zawja. All right. So now he offered that child to her to make her happy because he couldn't conceive. He could, it, the problem was him. He couldn't have babies. So she was happy, very happy. But problems started later on. As Yusuf السلام, reached the age of puberty, when he reached the age of puberty, he became more handsome and stronger in his body. And Allah gave him two things that he will give to any one of us if we are muhsin. The Quran said, وَكَذَلِكَ نَزِّلْ muhsinin." If you follow the path of muhsinin, Allah will give you what he gave to Yusuf السلام. What is it? Ilm and hukum. Ilm and hikmah. Knowledge and hikmah. And I think all of you here are muhsin. Otherwise Allah wouldn't give you this knowledge. This knowledge is not given to anyone. There are people paying money and then they cannot it's not going to work this knowledge of the deen and being a student of knowledge like all of you it's not given to anyone it's tawfiq from Allah remember that okay alhamdulillah what did she do now verse 23 let's see after she saw this boy is no more a boy, he's a man now. She's a married woman. We're going to draw many lessons from this page that we are going to do, inshallah, tonight in, in Tafsir. Let's see. One of the brothers read. Uh, Abu Tawfiq, father of Tawfiq. Read the, the English.
was she who had sought to seduce him. Yeah. I seek refuge in Allah. I seek refuge in Allah. He said to you, come on. And she said, the doors, the wrong doors will succeed. Not indeed my stay who has made good is my Lord. Indeed. Very good. Are you reading Shakespeare or Sheikh Zubair's English? <laughs> Takbir! I advise you to have this book. Honestly. What is this book? This book is what Muhammad Taqiyuddin Al-Hilali and Muhammad Muhsin Khan. This tafsir. If you can have it, please do. Not necessarily the same volume. I mean the same... Uh, could be small. Because it's simple English and it has the tafsir of Imam Tabari and Imam Ibn Kathir, which, whom we talk about first uh, lecture, remember? Sorry, sir, can I do it again? Because I read the wrong. No. Okay. <laughs> okay, yalla, do, do it again. Yes, the Shakespeare version. Ah. And she, in whose house he was, That's the one I want. sought to seduce him. She closed the doors and said, Come you. He said, I'll seek the refuge of Allah. Indeed, he is my master who has made good my residence. Indeed, wrongdoers will not succeed. Very good. Allah summarized the whole episode in one ayah. We can make a movie about this. Episode, one hour. The woman, look what happened. This is why no man should be in halwa with another woman. Not because the boy or the girl. It's because of the third. The third is shaitan. Okay, alhamdulillah, this man was prophet. If he was not prophet, definitely would have sinned. Because it's so easy for shaitan to ignite a fire when there is dynamite and kerosene. Kerosene and dynamite, definitely there will be fire and explosion. That's the man and woman. No man and woman should stay alone somewhere. And what we are, what we are hearing in the corporate world, what's happening, especially when they travel, very sad, I'm very sad, my brothers and sisters. Married men and women, they are even married. Na'udhu Billah. But when they travel... So, alhamdulillah, if we go by what Allah and His Messenger taught us, alhamdulillah, we will not, we will not need tawbah. We will not need tawbah. Because we don't sin. All right. So what did she do? Rawadatuh. Rawadatuh means she tried to seduce him. She didn't try. She did it. How did she do it? Not just verbally. First, through her dress. The tafsir said she wore only transparent. So the dress. The dress code is very important. That's why we are very strict in Islam about the dress in public. Now, what did she do? She, anyways, uh, she almost undressed herself in front of him. One more thing she did, she locked all the doors. The Quran said, وغلقت, not أغلقت. When you study Arabic, there is the verb أغلقت. أغلقت is to close. To close. I close the door. وعليكم السلام. غلق, look at me, when I put subdu here, it's no more closing, it's sealing. You seal the door. <clears throat> Meaning there is no way to open it from the inside. The door can be opened only from the outside or the person who locked it. Like safe. The safe, you seal the safe. So, غلقت الأبواب. The Quran used the word غلقت. Sabdu is on the land. Pay attention to it. He didn't say وأغلقت الأبواب. What else? She said clearly to him, come on. Haytalak. Waqalat Haytalak. So she prepared herself, she adorned herself, she put all kinds of perfume. She told him everything is locked. And she told him, she invited him verbally. 
What did he say? He said, Ma'adhullah. What saved him is A'udhu Billah. So if you are put in any situation like this, whether it's the other gender, sisters, brothers, or money, corruption, the first thing you should say, A'udhu Billah, then Allah will save you. If you don't say A'udhu Billah, or Ma'adhullah, which is same in Arabic, you may fall into that sin. Because the pressure is so big. The pressure is so big. And the shaitan is beautifying. It's okay. It's all right. Allah is Ghafur Rahim. After all, she came to you. It's not you. Rizki, Rashwa. Rizki is coming for your kids. That was the answer of your dua two weeks ago when you were saying, Ya Allah, give me rizq. That's what the shaitan does. May Allah curse him. Huh? So subhanallah, what did he do, sisters and brothers? And this is what we need to teach our children as well. Ma'adhullah, a'udhu billah, a'udhu billah. Because there is what you call uh, an attempt on you. So always bring the antidote. Uh, the great al-Ghazali, Abu Hamid al-Ghazali, rahimahullah. What does he say? He says, this is how you fix a problem. When you are tempted, remember the opposite. Always. Doctors, when you are sick, what do they give you? Antibiotics. Antibiotics. You have biotics, they give you the antibiotics. So always go to the opposite. The opposite of shaitan is mentioning Allah. A'udhu billah. That's what you should say. A'udhu billah. Ma'adh Allah. Because shaitan is telling you that. Through this person. What's going on? Why are you talking? Takbir. Explaining? Sharahan? Ask me. I'm here, my brother. That's my job. My job is to answer your questions. I'm here. Do, you just, do we just say A'udhu or do you say A'udhu Billah in a shaitan? It's okay. If you remember A'udhu Billah, you are already safe. <laughs> when the temptation is so big, A'udhu <laughs> If you say A'udhu Billah, you're fine. If you say A'udhu Billah, you're fine. Allahu Akbar, astaghfirullah. Oh, you're a good mu'min. It's okay. As long as you say A'udhu Billah, you're safe. How about A'udhu Billah ibn al-Shaytan rajim Subhanallah, astaghfirullah. La ilaha illallah. Rabbana la tuakhidna inna sin akhtar. Whatever you know. Read al-Fatiha, read whatever. For Allah to save you. The least, ma'adha Allah, A'udhu Billah. The least. Alas? Now, if, if the least you don't say A'udhu Billah, that means your mind is somewhere else. Innahu rabbi ahsana mathwai. One thing helped him not to fall into sin after <coughs> mentioning Allah's name and seeking refuge in Allah. Sisters and brothers, what did he do? He remembered the favor of his boss on him. Wa alaykum as salam. Whoever comes late from now on should, be, should pay dinner next week. Takbir. <laughs> and dinner, I choose the menu. <laughs> Not you. Nasi lemma and, and go home. No, the big lobster. <laughs> Hundred lobsters. Takbir. Ah, <laughs> huh, my brothers. So please, follow me. One th the other thing that helped him to not fall into sin, the fact that he did not forget the favor her husband did to him. Most of us forget. People who do good to us, we forget. That's why, na'udhu billah, some people cheat on their own, own bosses. You forget that this man was nice to you. Now you're looking at his wife, or his daughter, or his money, or I don't know what. This man was good. That's why surround yourself with... <sighs> no easy, no easy to find this type of people. With people who, who truly fear Allah. And there are, there are ways of finding those people. Very hard to catch them, but there are, you can detect some of them. So he said, Ma'ad Allah, I seek refuge in Allah from the shaitan, from you, from what you are telling me. 
And please understand, big pressure because she was his boss. The wife of his boss. So he remembered Rabbi. Rabbi here doesn't mean Allah. It means my boss. Your husband, my Rabb, meaning my master, because the word Rabb is not used only for God. That's why, what is the Shahada? La Rabba illallah or La ilaha illallah. If we say La Rabba illallah, La Rabba illallah, the word Rabb could be master, and any man is the master of his house. You, man, if you have a family, wife and children, you are the master. So here, he told her, Innahu Rabbi, your husband is my boss, my master. He was nice to me. How can, you, how can I ever think to harm him in his honor? MashaAllah. Then he reminded her, Innahu la yuflihu al-zalimun. Or an zalim, if I do so, if I do anything stupid with you, then I am zalim and neither you or me will be safe. I'm not going to betray my boss, even when you ask me to do so. So what do we learn from here? Let me see. Huh? Okay, good. What else? Huh? Very good. Cannot be alone with a woman. Good. What else? Even if she's married. That's what we learn. Let alone young girl. Crazy. Even when she's married. Don't say, well, she's a married woman. Come on, she's the wife of my boss. No. Things can happen. What else? What else? Are you a prophet? If this happened to a prophet, it can happen? So do not be living in utopia. Only in paradise, there is no sin. Clear? Meaning everything is possible. Ah, <clears throat> sisters. So every sister has the right to be afraid about her husband. Not to doubt him, but to be afraid. And to me, that's, that's love. If a woman really is worried that her husband may slip, that's a good wife. She cares. Don't say, but my wife... Yeah, he, she, she. This happened to Yusuf, alayhi salam, that someone did, did something to him, wanted to make him sin. So a married woman, she is married and still she wanted to do this. And she was even higher. So don't expect an invitation of zina from somebody lower than you. It could be somebody higher than you. Financially, in power. Clear? Because sometimes we think, when well, people need us, I can buy anyone with my money. No, sometimes it's not the money. Some, sometimes they have more money than you and your family. It is just don't put yourself in that situation. And this is why in Islam, the khalwa is haram. It's a sin already. Khalwa is haram. Even when there is no zina. The fact that you and another woman who is not related to you at all are in a private uh, place. Private doesn't mean four walls. Huh? It could be under tree. That's private. You understand? It could be in a corner in a restaurant. That's private. It could be in a club where people play golf. People are playing golf and you're playing ping pong. That ping pong pong. How are you, Farai? Ah. Yeah, my sisters, watch them. It's not them, it's those ladies after them. That bear. Watch them. And tell them I want to go golf clubbing with you today. <laughs> if you see his face turning upside down. <laughs> La ilaha illallah. Takbir. How do you strengthen yourself with that? 
you will not succumb to this kind of work. Very good. Stay away from women. And women should stay away from men. As much as you can. Serious. That's the only way. A prophet. And I'm going to read for you the ayah where she really tempted him. He, he thought about her. Because he's human. He's not an angel. Had it not been for Allah to show him something. We will see the next ayah. The reason why I was reading one by one so that to let more brothers come, inshallah, so that they benefit from. Because some of you say, I want to skip the qira'ah. Man, I don't know. You should come and read with me. Takbir. So how to avoid that? Number one, through marriage. You do tahsin. Tahsin means you protect yourself. You have to be a married man, married woman. Second, Better that your spouse, your hubby, most of the time with you. Most of the time. With you. Wherever you go, especially traveling, she goes with you. Unless she has babies to look after or very sick or... That's different. But if she can travel with you, why not? At least if you die, she washes you. If she dies, khalas. She's with you. She's not... Boy, wait for me. I want to say goodbye to my wife. You are in the, uh, the other part of the world. Serious. I mean it. So, marry, alhamdulillah. And if you can have your spouse with you, wherever you go, take her with you. That's the best. And three, when you cannot, never ever say, it's okay. No, 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 no. It's not okay. Even hotel. You are in 45. floor 45. She is in floor one, near the reception. Not wife. I mean, uh, workers, they, they go with you. I don't know what. <laughs> serious, serious, serious problem. Big problem in Malaysia. And other places. Yalla, huh? 24. Any question about this? So these are some of the lessons we learned. That please do not put yourself in harm's way. Because two things I told you, you are very weak in front. Uh, women, men are very weak in front of women and vice versa. And money, money. Money, don't say, well, I am too pious. No. If you stay away from money or have somebody else with you to sign that you have received this much and you have this post this much. Be as transparent as you can. Yes. That's the word. Answer is subhan, ready, ready. He's talking through. Are you sure it's not him? No, uh, uh, he's not your cousin? Takbir. Come in. Akbar. He's not hiding it. Okay. All right. What's the question? Look, when a man wants to when a man wants to marry another one, he shouldn't just uh, 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 find excuse. That's it. No, it will help me not to sin. You say I want to marry, khalas. That's it. You be criticized for a few days, few months, and that's it. But to go and say no, well, why he the first uh, haram? Especially why you talk like 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 the first one wasn't that good. Just say I. Huh? In your kampong? Which kampong? In kampong? <laughs> We're going to visit this kampong. Which kampong? Berles. Oh. You have the best uh, mango. Okay. So he, he, he married another one. Did he tell the first one? He told her. That, uh, he informed her that he's a man. He's a man. I have problem with men who marry second and third, and they don't tell. That's wrong. Say, khalas. Hmm? No. After marriage, no. 
You should say before. And I shall hit the next day. <laughs> You should say, but you should be like six continents away. <laughs> okay, okay. Sisters are very unhappy, I know that. Sisters don't like this subject because they are afraid it happens to them. I know their psychology. But that was a question, a valid question, someone married. So I'm saying, please don't uh, give excuse. I mean, don't find excuse. Alas, Allah gave you the right to marry more. But tell him, fear Allah, do justice. And up to him. And in the north, Kedda, Perlis, Klantan, the, uh, these people are quite okay for them. It's part of their culture, right? Anyways, I'm not encouraging that, I'm not discouraging that. I'm just saying, uh, let's not, please, when, when uh, someone wants to do that, let him not say, uh, oh, I did this because the first one is uh, becoming weak or sick, or I need the sheikh, somebody to remind me I'm getting old. Just say, Allah allowed me, and that's it. <coughs> Period, khalas. No more than that. 24. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim. Wa laqad hammat bih. Wa hamma biha. وَهَمَّ بِهَا لَوْلَا أَرْرَآ بُرْهَانَ رَبِّهِ كَذَلِكَ لِنَصْرِفَ عَنْهُ السُّوءَ وَالْفَحْشَاءَ إنه من عبادنا المخلصين very good one of the sisters now uh, <coughs> Raisa read the English and with passion yet she desired him and he would have desired her but that he saw the evidence of his Lord thus did we order that we might turn away all evil and shameful deeds. For he was one of our servants, sincere and dear Excellent. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly states that she was really crazy about him. And then he started feeling for her because of the clothes, because the, <coughs> the conditions of zina were, were? Present. Present, very good. He was put into that test, which is one of the biggest tests, brothers. Brothers, sisters, be careful to be put into this test. Very few people are, are safe. But you know what saved him, subhanAllah? He was good. His record, the fact that he was pious. When you are pious, no matter what the test comes towards you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saves you. So it is what we call your record. You were not playful before, so Allah will save you. <coughs> Say Amin. So the key is now, now. Not until the test comes, because you were ready. You prepared very well for the test. Is the test going to be easy or difficult? Easy, because you prepared one. A Muslim is like that. When you, when you seek knowledge, like now, we seek knowledge, we pray, we do tarawih, do qiyam. When a, a, a calamity falls us, when a big problem happens to us, alhamdulillah, inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raja'un. What will help us? To react positively to death or loss of a job or a loved one in trouble or our, whatever happens to you may happen is the fact that you had a good record. So a lot of people think when the problem happened to me, uh, I ask Allah to give me sabar. No, you should work for it. So when it happens, you don't fall. Preparation. Like exam, you prepare very well. When the exam comes, alhamdulillah, you are not panicking. So he was so pious that he has never thought of her or another woman, haram. When this happened to him, although he was tempted, which is natural, normal, because he's a human being, he's not an angel, Allah sent him a burhan. He saw something. We don't know what he saw. Some ulama say, an angel told him, fear Allah. And 
some ulama said an intuition came from, for, from Allah that he should say ma'adallah. A'udhu billah, which is the ayah, the first ayah. So Allah says, كَذَلِكَ لِنَصْرِفَ عَنْهُ السُّوءِ That is how we are going to remove uh, evil from him, not to fall into any, uh, بالله, illegal sexual intercourse with any woman, let alone the wife of his boss. We don't, we don't know. Burhan means evidence. What was that evidence? We don't know. Some ulama say angel. An angel spoke to him. Oh, Yusuf, stay away from this. Some ulama said no. It's just an intuition. An intuition came to him. Some kind of yani, idea, guidance that, no, I shouldn't do this. I should not do this. So, what will prevent our children from falling into things like this? Our education. And the best story to tell them is this. If a prophet had been tested and, and he thought of it. So you tell your son, son, daughter, look, these things can happen. But how you react to them? Don't tell them, no, inshallah, it will never happen to you. Inshallah. But if it happens... You never prepared your son or daughter. Say, A'udhu Billah. Think of Allah. The opposite is shaitan. Shaitan is telling you this. Remember Allah. So the antidote. You have to bring the opposite. You feel so cold. What should you do? Put a jacket. Bring the opposite, which is warm. You feel too, too hot. What do you do? You turn on the AC. Only the opposite can work. Please understand this. Do you know what is the most expensive fluid in the world? And it's found only in Algeria. The most expensive <coughs> fluid. You know that or not? Is the poison of the scorpion. Like this, millions. Just like, because they make out of it antidotes. <laughs> if... If a viper uh, bites you, how do they treat you? With what? They have to give you antidote. From where they get that? From the scorpion. <clears throat> you don't know this? All of you are going to regret not visiting Algeria. Only <laughs> Subhan. <laughs> Takbir. Keep, keep, keep delaying. <laughs> Takbir. <laughs> tell them, tell them. Maybe they <laughs> speak to them in Malay, brothers. Maybe they don't understand English. <laughs> he came, mashallah. Empty-handed. Empty-handed. <laughs> tell them, tell them what you got there. Tell me, we have a second one. Yeah. <laughs> he, if he wanted, I could have, but. Not ready. Not ready. Takot. <laughs> okay. That is how Allah will save him from two things. Su, evil, and fahsha. One way to not fall into zina is to live before, before. A good life of tawbah, istighfar, not to be around girls, not to flirt, flirt with them. Not, that is, inshallah, will help you. But if you were always around girls, big problem, big problem. Innahu min ibadina al Indeed, he was one of our chosen guided slaves. <coughs> May Allah make us amongst them. <laughs> if, Allah, if you serve Allah so much, good. Now, Allah chooses you. Once he chose you, when problems happen in your life, he saves you. You will not fall into sin. Major, major problem comes. Big money given to you as rashwa. You will not accept it. Not because, because you fear him. Because Allah saved you. Ah. 25. Two, both of them. وَقَدَّتْ قَمِيصَهُ مِنْ دُبُرْ مِنْ دُبُرْ 
وألف يا سيدها لدى الباب قالت ما جزاء من أراد من أراد بأهلك سوءا سوءا إلا أن يسجن أو عذاب أليم Excellent. What did we say last week? Who has more, who has more dirty plotting, women or men? Men. Here is the evidence. She plotted against him when her husband opened the door. Husband came. One of the most, na'udhu billah, stressful time is when you are invited to do haram and the person very much authoritative to the person who is with you comes. So he had the ability to open the door from the outside, but you cannot open it from the inside. He heard commotion. He heard talk. Why? Pay attention to me, sisters and brothers. He ran towards the door. When, she, when he told her, Ma'adullah, no haram, I cannot do this, we shouldn't do this, she still was coming closer to him, physically. Then what did he do? He had to do something. So don't say no. When I ask you, what did you do? Sheikh, I was just standing in that place. <laughs> run, just run at least. Move out of that place. Do an action, then Allah will save you. You know when Allah gives you risk? When you move. You want risk? Move. Start. Say Bismillah to Allah. Get, get out from your home. At least go to the garden. Get out from your bed. Say, Ya Rab, please help me, give me risk. Get out. What, the moment you, you move, then Allah will start sending the risk. You don't want to do nothing and you want Allah to help you. Forget it. So he ran towards the door, although he knows the door is closed. Ya Rab, I did my best. Then Allah helped him. How he helped him? He brought her husband. He brought her husband. When you think it's getting worse, actually that's when the solution is. You never know how Allah works. Just trust him. So he brought who? Not a guard, not a maid, not somebody, no. He brought, he opened the door. When he opened the door, imagine, he ran towards the door, she runs towards the door. Same action or not? Same. But is the niyyah the same? That's why I told you, be careful. I hope everybody is coming to seek knowledge. The niyyah, we all come to this house. But hopefully, solely for Allah's sake and for Silatul Rahim. Say Amin. amen. We're coming to seek knowledge and Silatul Rahim, go home. Imagine someone saying, well, man, I have nothing to go. So let me go to Shah's house. No, no, it's not like that. It has to be for Allah's sake. Otherwise, Allah will not accept. Because same action. He ran towards the door. She runs after him towards the door. But she ran for zina. He ran away from zina. You see? That's what we don't know. We think everybody's coming to the masjid. Many people are coming just for spying. To see what the imam is going to say. So that they report to their bosses. There are those who are coming for Lillahi Ta'ala, Tawbah, Astaghfar, Ghusul, Mandi, Mashallah, perfume, early, read Surah Al-Kahfi, sit down, dua, crying to Allah. And there are those who are coming because the Nasi Biryani near that masjid is very good. Actually, they're coming for the Nasi Biryani, Takbir. I hope no one is like that. Serious. That's why in Islam we have this hadith, authentic hadith. We find it even in the 40 hadith of Imam Nawawi. That Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi said, he who migrates for Allah's sake, then his migration is for Allah's sake. He's talking to who? To the Sahaba. And he who among you migrated to marry a woman, then his hijrah is for that woman. He knew 
some Sahaba actually followed the, their, their, their loved ones. Meaning, if she stayed in Mecca, he would have. She would. Allah knows. We don't know. But Subhanallah, here I want. I want to show. Same action, two different people, but two different niyyah. So what seems to us same for Allah is not. That's why we wrong people when we judge them. We never know the niyyah. So Allah says, was They raced. <coughs> She even raced with him. When she could not prevent him, she pulled him from the cloth. Like there. She pulled him from the back. Ah, this is what can happen. Remember I said the cloth of Yusuf السلام, are mentioned three times? Here is the... Second, the first one was when? When they brought the cloth to the father with blood. Yes? So, this is second. The third one, they sent back the cloth to his father. We will see. Now the second time, she pulled him from the cloth. That shows how crazy she was about him. She forgot, she lost control. She's emotional. But it took her years to reach this level. Actually, she's more pious than the other women who will make fun of her. And learn from this woman. She's very smart. With all the nonsense she did with Yusuf, but she was very smart. I will show you later on. And that's how I want you to behave. Not like her, poor people from their clothes. <laughs> when she heard people talking bad about her, she didn't become emotional. And we will see. There are many lessons we're going to learn, inshallah. <laughs> So she raced with him towards the door. He was first to run away, to find an exit. At that moment, Allah brought solution for him. From where? From outside. So imagine someone is about to open the door of his house, and then he hears near the door commotion, and somebody being pulled from his cloth, and she tears off his cloth. Alhamdulillah, the evidence, it was from the back. We will see. What did he say when he opened the door? Did he talk? He was shocked. When he opened the door, he found his wife dressing crazy. And Alhamdulillah, he found Yusuf at the door and the woman behind him. Imagine it was the other way. Oh, big problem. Huh? See, she's pulling him and pulling. What did she say? Look how cold and uh, posed, posed she is. What did she say? Look at it. Look at the ayah. Who, uh, who was reading? <laughs> Raisa, you finished? Okay, another brother, Yal. Uh, Harris, Iqra. From which start? Al Fatiha? <laughs> From uh, the same ayah. Yeah, from the start, 25. And they, both and they raced? And they raced to the door, and she tore his shirt from the back. And they found her husband at the door. So what do we know? How do we know back? W which word in, in Arabic? Do you have dubur? The word dubur? Yeah, yeah. In Malay? What, what, what does dubur mean? <laughs> no, that's one of the... One, one of the meaning in Arabic of dubur is the back, the thing you sit on. That is called dubur. Okay? But also it means your back from, look, from head all the way to your heel. That is called dobor. The whole back, including the legs. Specifically, what we call the butt. Clear? So I don't want you to think uh, dobor is just that. But yes, uh, in fiqh, that's when we talk about fiqh body of a man, body of woman. But no, no. In this case, she pulled his shirt and his back was seen. His back. Clear? Is this clear, inshallah? So, alhamdulillah, that's Arabic language. Continue. And they found her husband at the door. Huh. She said, what is the recompense of one who intended evil for your wife, but 
Ah. Oh, oh. Imagine with me, brothers. Instead of being shameful of herself and panic, she didn't even panic. She didn't even blink an eye. She immediately found a way. That's why one, one thing, you cannot beat women in talking. Takbir. <laughs> women, if you are married to a lawyer, may Allah be with you. <laughs> lawyer teacher, hey, hey. Because a woman can lecture you for being lawyer. If she is teacher lawyer, may Allah be with you. Allahu Akbar. Just smile, brothers, because you're all going to sleep on the sofa tonight. <laughs> no, no, serious. Women, mashallah, Allah gave them so much power in talking. And they know how to talk. Even when they know they are wrong. She knew she was wrong before Yusuf say anything or even her husband say anything. She already said, what would you do to a man who wanted to harm your spouse? Either be in jail or severe punishment. Did she say kill him? But his brothers thought about killing him. That's why the plotting of women is less than the plotting of men. I don't agree with those who say, if women plot against a man, he's... No. Actually, it's the other way. Men, when they plot, they can even kill. Women, when they plot, the worst they can do, severe rotan or jail. But why she said jail? Question. Why she said, what would you do what is the recompense, punishment, for him who intended an evil design against your wife, except that he be put in prison or painful torment? Why she didn't say kill him? And, and get rid of the evidence. Maybe there will be an evidence, right? Get rid of the evidence. Who can tell me why? Why did you come out here? She still wants him, even if he goes to jail. When women want you, they want you just to go to jail and come back. Go perlis and come back. That bear. <laughs> Serious. Women, when they put someone in, his, in their mind, they don't want him to die. They want him to go to jail or exile. Because there is always that yearning of maybe we can get reunion. Man, once they hit you, hate you, finish him. So who is worse in plotting, men or women? Man. That bear, who said man? <laughs> huh? This sister is tired. This sister is really tired of man. That bear. I'm with you, sister. You missed many classes. May Allah forgive you. Say Amin. I said, may Allah forgive you. Amen. You should say Amin. Because if Allah forgives you, go to Jannah. <laughs> Did he keep quiet? Or he defended himself? He became the lawyer. You have to defend yourself. Sisters, brothers, when people accuse you, if you be quiet, you're guilty. You have at least to say, I'm innocent. And let the media... Whatever say. You say, no, I haven't done that. And let the world go on you, no problem. But you said nothing. Like a woman, a man wants to marry her. And we say, sister, this brother is offering you marriage. And she's just keeping quiet. What do we understand? Yes. The silence of a, a virgin woman means, yes, Rasulullah Sassim said. If she keeps quiet, because maybe she is shy. Don't say, no, I was under, you should say, at least do like Indians, move your head. <laughs> Bubble head, take bear. Say no, or like, whatever you do. Clear, inshallah? So what did he say? Let's say. Qala hiya rawadatni an nafsi. Qala. 
Come on, guys, brothers, what is this? What is this? We are about to die, we, we still don't know how to read Quran? Meet me. Those who want to meet Quran, uh, read Quran one on one, can call me. Don't worry, not too long. Ha maximum half an hour. I meet with you, sit, sit down, read. Da, 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 go home, yalla, salamai. Meet somewhere. Very important, you need to. You have to improve before you meet Allah. Ya Rab, I was, I was doing my best. Little, sick it, sick it, jadi bukit. But be consistent. The key is consistency. That's all. قال هي راودتني عن نفسي وشهد شاهد من أهلها إن كان قميصه قد من قبل فصدقت فصدقت وهو من الكاذبين Only in teaching the Quran I can read like this because you are but you cannot stop there because it is he who was truthful and she was liar so that is what we call waqf qabih ugly waqf so we are not supposed to stop at qubul I repeat إن كان قميصه قد من قبل فصدقت وهو من الكاذبين It is very wrong to stop at صدقت If we say فصدقت وهو من الكاذبين Very wrong Why? Because we are saying she was right and he was liar. And a prophet cannot lie. This is in Tajweed. In Ilm al Tajweed, this is only with a Shaykh you know this. You cannot stop at Sadaqat. You cannot. You have to read it. Fasadaqat wa huwa min al kathibin. If you said, Fasadaqat. وَهُوَ مِنَ الْكَاذِبِينَ Wrong. You cannot do that. So even in reading the Qur'an, we need to learn it the way Jibreel alayhi salam read it for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Clear inshallah? Let's see. When Yusuf alayhi salam heard that with all what she did, she is still trying to get him into trouble. She wanted him to get... She wanted him to be in trouble with Allah by sinning, falling in sin, <coughs> zina. Now she wants him to be in jail, meaning in trouble with her husband, either in jail or in uh, or punishment, physical punishment. Did he say, Hasbi Allah wa ni'mal wakil, astaghfirullah, ya Allah, you are my... No. He said, he clearly said she was after me. He defended himself. Please defend yourselves when people accuse you of anything. Of anything. Let's see one of the sisters. Sister uh, Azlina. It's okay. No. No, 26. It's okay, the sister tricked you, no problem. <laughs> he, Yusuf, said it was she that sought to seduce me, and a witness of her household bore witness, saying, If it be that he shed his tongue from the front, then her tail is true, and he is a liar. But look at the nobility of Yusuf. All he said is what? She tried to seduce me. That's all he said. To protect her honor. Did you say, what, well, sir, she... She tried to seduce me. That's it. Clear. But he did not step low like some of us do. Na'udhu billah. Khalas. She was after me. A witness from her family, alhamdulillah, witnessed. He said when the, when the husband went to seek advice from a wise man, the wise man said to him, 
look at the shirt. If it has been torn from front, then she is right and he is a liar. Alhamdulillah. Evidence. So what do we learn from here? What do we learn? This is criminology. The science of crime. Investigation. It's in the Quran. How to investigate? Clearly the t-shirt was cut off, torn from the back. Which means she was after him. Because how, how, can, how does a man want to rape a woman? By reversing? By telling her I'm coming and goes back? He goes attack her. And she was, let's say she defends herself by tearing off his clothes. Now we know he was guilty. But he wasn't. So Alhamdulillah, even the person who gave the idea to her husband to verify was from her family. And that's how they know. That's how the women came to know. Because that man, after being asked by her husband, he went and told his wife, and you know, once you tell one woman, <laughs> so many especially if you tell her secret, huh, between me and you. Takbir, what happens? Every sister has a best friend who, secret between me and you. <laughs> From Sri Hatamas to the whole Even brothers are turning like that. Do you know discussion between two people is secret? If I am with Shariman talking, only me and him, let's say in a car or in a restaurant, whatever he told me and I said to him is just between us. I don't have to tell him, brother, this is confidential, huh? please just between you. Cannot. I don't have to. If there was a third person and I didn't say that, brothers, whatever I'm saying now is confidential, yes. But to talk to someone, so between husband and wife, everything should be confidential. You know that or not? Even men today, they have this problem. I so said, you didn't tell me, brother. That is yeah, brother, we were just you and me talking. Clear? Please, between, doctor, alhamdulillah, doctors know this. Doctor, a patient is what? Confidential. Ah, okay, good. So, alhamdulillah, he defended himself and the witness from her family, without seeing, he's just a wise man, he said to her husband, because he went, he was upset, how come this happened to my, in my family? He was so upset with his wife, because by the way, uh, here is the mentality, sorry, of, of Egyptian people. How can you find your wife wearing like that? And locking all the doors. Why she locked the doors? If she was not. And why, what, why she is wearing for him what she doesn't even wear for you? For that he should have punished her. Right or wrong? You don't need nuclear physics, science. Your daughter or wife or sister or I don't care who. Wearing inappropriate with a guy who came to fix your air conditioning. Punish her right away. Because you cannot do that. You cannot do that. But Sayang, I am in my house. No, that's a human being too. And big problems happen because of this, my brothers and sisters. Big problems because of this. And you have four right sisters to tell your husband not to wear like that if another lady comes. Why is he wearing very inappropriate? He should disappear. Let's say your best friend came to see you. He cannot uh, come and greet her with short or with sarong. Sarong, not the way some of you wear sarong because alhamdulillah, some of you wear sarong normal. I'm talking about those sarong see-through. <laughs> Yes, masjid, masjid. We are praying, astaghfirullah. What is this? Allahu Akbar. Long time ago, you used to make good sarong. Now, what? what? Ay, Allahu Akbar. Ay, ay, ay. Wherever we are going now, fitna is following us. Even in the masjid, man. Even in the masjid. La hawla wa la quwata illa 
So the moral of the story, he didn't keep quiet. And he's teaching us, this is sunnah of a prophet. When accused, please don't say, Hasbi Allah wa ni'mal wakil. Allah is witness. Astaghfirullah. I tell Allah yawma qiyamah. Tell me now. Save yourself. You're going to go to jail or people will talk bad about you and assassinate your character forever. Say, I did not do that. And I'm ready to swear by Allah. If asked, you say that. Then, and look at your family, your wife or your husband and say, I did not do that. Look, look at her in the eyes. And I did that. Don't lie. If you did that, say, Astaghfirullah, please, Ya Allah, forgive me. But like, if you didn't, then that's it. Because Allah is on your side. Good. Continue. وَإِن كَانَ قَمِيصُهُ قُدَّ مِن دُبُرٍ فَكَذَبَتْ Here we can stop. Because she was wrong. We know that. The Quran told us. فَكَذَبَتْ وَهُوَ مِنَ الصَّادِقِينَ That's why in the Mus'haf of Imam Warsh, there is a stop actually, فَكَذَبَتْ There is a sad. Sad means stop. Well, the way we memorize the Quran when we were little, we stop there. فَكَذَبَتْ وَهُوَ مِنَ الصَّادِقِينَ And he is among those who speak the truth. So the man said, look at his shirt. If it is cut off, torn off from the front, she is right and he is lying. If it was torn from the back, clearly he is right and she is. Wrong. Of course, the husband was shocked because he already saw that. Before going to investigation, he already saw that his clothes that he bought him was okay from here, but from the back, no. Uh, okay. All right. So please understand, my sisters and brothers. You know, Rasulullah one day was on a caravan. And one of the Sahaba had a beautiful voice. And he was singing for the camels. The camels like songs, you know that? Camels, when, when you sing for them, they love it. And they, they, they cruise in the desert. They walk without, without uh, any form of uh, hardship. So Rasulullah said to that Sahabi, easy brother, we have women with us. And they are as soft as glass, they may break. So women, when they listen to music, that's why they cry. They cry for music, they cry for songs, they cry for... They're very romantic women by nature. You need to know this. So when you speak too nice, too soft to a woman who is in pain, and she's comparing now why her husband doesn't speak that nice. Ah. That's why you be careful, brothers. That's why when you speak, speak always uh, with authority. The one you should speak nicely to, very smoothly, is your wife. <laughs> wife, wife. <coughs> Most of us are very nice and considerate to our colleagues, sisters in Islam. When it comes to the wife, where is my passport? Your passport was with you. Why, why, why should I? Uh, Takbir. You miss my comment, eh? some of you. Like, bear. In one time, but then, then, then there is no evidence. They say even the baby spoke. Yeah. Baby, baby. But there is no evidence. Mm. This is the strongest. Yes. Tafsir ibn Kathir better. One of the, <coughs> a baby spoke and said to him, blah, blah, blah. If, yeah, Allah, Ya Rabbi. Like, bear. He went to a wise man and asked him, Sir, if this happened, he said, check the clothes. So I clear, close to reason. Yes. Continue. Continue. <laughs> إن 
Plotting of women is big, Allah said. It's really big. Here it is. Verse 28. When women plot, brothers, you are in big danger. But they don't kill you, necessarily. They don't finish you. Okay? Now, pay attention to that verse, 28. Go back to verse 5. Go back to verse 5. Where Allah mentioned the plotting of men, who are the brothers of... Yusuf alayhi salam. When they plotted, when he's, what did the father say to Yusuf when he told him the dream? He said, don't tell your brothers because they will plot against you. How do we know? How do we know the plotting of men more than the plotting of women? Some of you will love this and even write it, especially the sisters. And... Sheikh Zubair is the best teacher for them because he's giving them something they can use against someone. That bear. <laughs> if not here, on WhatsApp. Here. In verse 5, sisters, brothers, what does Allah say? Look. Fayakidu. Look, look at it. Fayakidu laka. Kaida. Here it is, right? فَيَكِيدُوا لَكَ كَيْدًا Men, when they plot, they're going to really plot. But for the women, look at it, verse 28. إِنَّ كَيْدَ كُنَّا The word كَيْدَ كُنَّا كَيْدَ كُنَّا كَيْدَ هُنَّا كَيْدَ كُنَّا is repeated كَيْدَ كُنَّا كَيْدَ هُنَّا They're plotting, females plotting. In, indeed, your plotting, O oh women, is big. But he didn't say Kaida. This is called Masdar in Arabic. Masdar. Here, a repetition of the same word. Here, no. Verb, Masdar. Fi'al. Fi'al, and then Masdar. What does it fi'al and Masdar? For example, look, when I say, Akala. What is akala? Okay. Let's see. Now the student of Arabic, if they are just studying, akala, of course, yes. <laughs> akala, what is the master of akala? Aklan. Yakidu? Do you see master here? So this is weaker than this. That's how we know. The plotting of man is stronger than the plotting of You need to know Arabic. If you don't know Arabic, Arabic, not just speaking Arabic. Fa'il, fa'il, mustar, maf'ul, be all this grammar. It helps you a great deal. Jalasa, he sat down. What is the master? Julusan. Julusan. Daraba, to hit. Darban, very good. So, how do you know it's masdar? It's always and with an, 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 an. That's strong. That already Arabic we say strong. So when Allah used the word kaid for man, he said yakidu laka kaida. But the, the plotting of women, yes, your plot is big, but there is no masdar. Okay, very good. So now he knows. Imam al-Qurtubi, remember I told you the greatest ulama of tafsir are four among many, among hundreds of ulama of tafsir, four are like mothers of tafsir. Ibn Kathir, his tafsir is a mother book. Ibn Jarir al-Tabari, al-Qurtubi, and Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas as Sahabi, early. But among the scholars, three great. Al Qurtubi in his tafsir is amazing. He said, and that's the nature of Egyptian men. Sorry to tell you this. Until Islam came to them, they were they didn't care about what their wives do. 
Here is the fact. He's Egyptian. How come your wife does all this, you do nothing to her? All he said, don't do it again. She's wearing like that. She tempted her, 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 the boy that you entrusted her to raise him. She didn't care about the husband, how, what people may say about his reputation. Look what he said. Yusuf, a'rid an hadha. Wastaghfiri li dhambik. Innaki kunti min al khati'in. English, another brother. Who, who was the last to read? Brother, now sister. Yalla Aliya. Read. Yeah, Aliya. How many Aliyas we have? Yeah, Aliya. Yeah, no. That's why I was wrong. <laughs> but aren't you Aliya, Aliyana? Or your sister is Aliya? Ah, your sister, okay. Yana. Yeah, Albert Aliana. Yeah. No. Oh Yusuf. Okay. Turn away from this. Okay. Oh woman. Ask forgiveness. Forgiveness for your sin. Verily you were verily you were of the sin. Who who says it? Who's who's talking? The husband. And he started with the victim. Talk to the guilty one first. This is wrong. Your, your son one hits son number two. Who should you talk first to? The naughty one. Stop this. You forgive him. It's not like, forgive him. If you don't do that. He will uh, never uh, understand. You always blame or direct your discussion first to the person who starts first. Yeah, Allah, you see? That's Egyptian. Sorry. That's Egyptian. Instead of talking to his wife and scolding her and even rotting her for what she did, he, uh, Yusuf, don't do that. Stay away from those things. Not good. Because he's, he knows he's innocent and young. And you, go, 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 ask for forgiveness from her idols or whatever they used to worship. You were wrong. That's all he said. Do you think a woman will not do this again? She will do. And the evidence she is calling her friends, all the poinceries of Egypt, to do the same thing again. Because she did not get the rotan day one. Takbir. There is hikmah in it. Just hang it. Takbir. It's not your culture. You are so. I think they hang for you, the Rotan. <laughs> this brother love. Sister. Good for him. Ah, doctor. Curious. Astaghfirullah. <sighs> Wallahi, we are very sad to what's happening to the Muslim families. Muslim families, because men are. Many men, sorry brothers, are not playing their role anymore. That's why we look crazy. Oh, Yusuf. Yes, another Perlis story? <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, that's the day youth, exactly. That's the point. The youth doesn't care. You know your wife was wrong. And you knew. Doesn't mean you have to kill her, but come on, man, stop. She will do it again, definitely. We want to say, don't do it again. And go ask forgiveness. You are wrong. And you start with the, 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 the victim. You address the victim. Yusuf, Arid an hada. Yusuf, as if he, as if he was trying to. This is the nature of man, uh, or Egyptian man. Egyptian men are like this. <coughs> Sorry. It's the truth. And I tell them in their face, and many of them say, Sheikh, you're right. I said, don't get, don't get me wrong. This is, look, uh, Mursi, may Allah have mercy on him. Yeah, that, 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 nothing. 
They're watching uh, African Cup. These are people, you die for them and you go to jail for them. That's why, do not help anyone who doesn't want to help himself. I'm telling you now. I learned the hardest uh, uh, lesson in my life in America. Do not try to help someone he doesn't want to help himself. When you want to help someone, see first. 60, 70% of the effort he's doing for himself. Then help him. Never fight a battle of somebody else. Including your sons eh? and daughters. Start with your family. Takbir. وَقَالَ نِسْوَةٌ فِي الْمَدِينَةِ وَقَالَ نِسْوَةٌ فِي الْمَدِينَةِ امْرَأَةُ الْعَزِيزِ The word Imra'a came back. The women in the city said that the woman of Al-Aziz, they know she was unhappy. Otherwise, why she will do this? What will make her try to sleep with somebody else? Huh? That's why it's your duty to satisfy your wives. Brothers and sisters, especially brothers. It is your duty to make sure your wife, everything, she's satisfied sexually. Uh, mentally, spiritually, she prays, she, she goes to Umrah, she, get, she reads Quran, she attends classes like this. Otherwise, na'udhu billah. Some men don't care. They say, I'm old, I am this, I'm that. Hey, your wife may be still young, still healthy. I know you are all shocked. This is the truth, and I have to be very candid with you. تراود فتاها عن نفسه قد شغفها حبا إنا لنراها في ضلال مبين Excellent uh, Sisters read. Uh, one of the brothers. Brother Amhari, go ahead. Verse 30. And woman in the city said, The wife of Al Aziz is seeking to seduce her slave boy, yet passion her with love. Indeed, we see her to be in clear error. Ah. When these women talked, look what they said. Waqala niswa. So it reached the, uh, the story, reached people. Women, niswa, niswa. Nisa started talking. Blah, 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 blah. Of course, this is what you call a story. This is a story. This is a story. Yes. Building a masjid. Who cares? Azmin with the other guy. Woohoo! That's a story, right? Even when it is not true. Allah knows. Allah knows. But for us, no. We should say it's not true. It's not we say Allah, Allah knows. No. In Islam, we, Allah says, Allah says, لَوْلَا إِذْ سَمِعْتُمُهُ سُورَةَ النُّورِ When you hear a rumor like this about zina or about liwat, or uh, a relationship between a woman and woman, Allah says, لَوْلَا إِذْ سَمِعْتُمُهُ ظَنَّ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتُ بِأَنفُسِهِمْ خَيْرًا The first thing to do is to think positively about believing men and believing women. وَقَالُوا سُبْحَانَكَ هَذَا بُهْتَانٌ عَظِيمٌ And they say, glory be to you, Ya Allah, this is buhtan. This is slander. This is the first reaction we do. Later on, when information comes and one of them, or both, um, confess, uh, that's different. All four witnesses. Four witnesses. Eight eyes. Four witnesses means eight healthy eyes. Don't bring me with someone whose glasses are bigger than the telescope, <laughs> and say, uh, he, saw, he saw what? This guy, uh, by cleansing the fog from his uh, glass, he needs uh, two hours. How can he see anything? Clear? This is the din. Huh? Please do not go there. And it's becoming ugly, honestly, the politics in Malaysia. This is really... S I'm sad that I'm living in a country like this. Sorry. 
No, Syria actually it needs to stop. It needs to stop. You have four witnesses? Come forward. Speak. You don't, we lash you 80 lashes. Start doing this and you'll see. Because today someone, tomorrow your daughter or your son yeah. or... And not everybody has the heart to take uh, bad news like this. You as father, God forbid, somebody accuse your daughter or your son. You may have heart attack and die. Now who brings you back? Or you are in ICU? Or you have a stroke? Who, who fixes you back? Because of a rumor? Rumors must end. All right, so women start talking in the city. All right. Imra'atul Aziz. They said the woman of Al-Aziz. They were not actually angry or uh, talking because she wanted to do zina. Because she wanted to do zina with a low class. Uh, this is how bad the society was. They were not angry at one of them because at least, I mean, people have the right to say, well, she shouldn't have done that, you know, wrong. We need to condemn evil. When, when evil was tempted, or at, there was an attempt to do evil or done, we need to condemn it and speak against it. But they were like, <coughs> you know, what is this so and so? She wanted to sleep with a Bengali. <laughs> so that's the problem. It's not that she wanted to cheat on her husband. <laughs> that bear. I brought you just an example so that. You see where the problem is? If she slept with a higher time three, no problem. Like <laughs> bear. Yeah, ma. So even when they condemn what she did, they didn't condemn it for the fact that she's cheating on her husband, which is wrong. He's like, with a slave boy? Because they don't know who is he. Ah, that's why she's going to show Why she wants to show him? Because that's what they criticize her for. You see society? That's why check. If any society, the halal becomes haram, run away from it. I'm about to do another hijra. Because I don't want to be surrounded by pondane wherever I go. Takbir. <laughs> Or uh, government, your government should allow me to take a rotan and start. <laughs> oh, one day in uh, Bangsar, ya yeah, Allah. That man, Allah saved us, this guy. He came to me and he started the... Uh, I was like, I was not wearing like this. <laughs> and he was like, yeah. I was wearing uh, like better than all of you here. Like there. <laughs> Allah want me to, to go through that, that uh, task, man, why is this guy one? First, I thought he wants to say, where, where is this uh, address, you know, show me the way. So I was telling that that's where I have to go. Near the masjid. Opposite the masjid, there is Siambi, Bangsar. There, almost Taekwondo, Takmer. Because these people, they have to understand it this way. What do you, what do you see mean for you to come and try to be nice to me? Why? Huh? To see through Pekka. Takbir. To see through what? Huh? Oh, Saron. Could be. Could be. Allahu Akbar. Expect anything in Malaysia. Malaysia is that country where? <laughs> Malaysia, bole. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. So women, when they criticize her sisters, they didn't criticize her because shame on her, she should not have done that, it's haram. No, it was not for moral reason. Actually, it was for even lower than what she did. How can she fall for? You got it? OK. Next ayah and then we end. Still 15 more minutes. 
Are you okay? Aya by aya like this better? Ha? Ha? Okay. Falamma sami'at bi makrihin arsalat. Arsalat ilayhin wa a'tadat. وأعتدت لهن متكأ وآتت كل واحدة منهن سكينا وقالت اخرج عليهن فلما رأينه أكبرنه وقطعن أيديهن وقطعنا نوت وقطعنا وقطعنا means we cut our hands وقطعنا they the females cut their hands وقط وقطعنا أيديهن. very good. وقلنا حاش لله. ما هذا بشرا. إن هذا إلا ملك كريم. When, yalla, one of the, who, who, who read last? Brothers. One of the brothers? Yeah. So, sister, yes, go ahead. My sister here. Yes. Very good. There are two tafsirs for this ayah. Pay attention. Huh? When she heard of their discussion and accusation to her, she didn't get, she got angry, but she did not let her emotions. Because sometimes, sisters, that's what you need to do. Sometimes you need to invite the person who is accusing you. Call him or her and give, and give them even gifts. Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah was very good with this. When he hears someone talking bad about him, he, he goes visit him and give him a gift. It is pacifying your enemy. Either he will never talk again, make tawbah, or he will die with heart attack. Which we don't know how to do this. We got angry and... So when you know someone is talking nonsense about you, go visit him, in, especially in front of people, and give him a gift. People say, this is the guy you talk bad about. Assalamu alaikum, this for you. And go. I know an imam in Algeria, someone was talking bad, so bad about him. You know what he did to him, subhanAllah? He took him, he drove, he put him near, in him, in, near him, and drove the whole city for, for two, three hours. The man didn't realize what he's doing. People are seeing that you are with me in the car, yet you talk bad about me. He destroyed him. That's intelligence to me. He could have said, haram on you, I will make dua against you, Allahu Akbar. No, he, he drove the city, a small city, town, let's say Rawang. People are seeing. Every coffee shop they visited together. Because people sit and what? This the guy is talking bad about the Imam and he is with him. That's smart. That's what you cannot do, ladies. Sheikh, I cannot stand here. Halawa. Takbir. Allah created Joseph to be very handsome, very 
Very handsome. So yeah. That means that becomes a fitna in itself. Yes. So that like a woman is very pretty, so also can become. A no, she should cover. When a woman is very pretty, she must cover. So all the sisters who don't cover, they are not pretty. <laughs> Takber. That's why they don't cover. If they believe they're pretty, they come. You see my point? Takber. Including my wife, I always tell her, you're not pretty. As man, you miss me, my brother, I know. You lost some weight. What's wrong with you, brother? We are here, brother. Sister, we are here to help him, don't worry. You want to go uh, riding, we go ride for you. For you, we ride, brother. <laughs> but on a bike, for me. <laughs> Takber, who has two bikes? Borrow me one. Or you never borrow? You don't land your bikes? I need a scrambler. Between off-road and? Come on, brother. What's wrong with you? May Allah forgive you. Takbir. Okay, okay. No, Halida Vincent is too, too American for me. Takbir. I like Japanese. Okay. Uh, when she heard what, what they're uh, doing, yes, she was upset, but she did not get emotional. So what did she do? She wants to show them the type of man she fell for. So she called them, and what she prepared for them? She prepared for them a banquet. Even the way they sat oh, was so good, prepared. And she brought a lot of fruits, and she gave them knives. Now there are two of Siri in explaining what, why she gave them the knives. Because not all fruits you need knives for. You need knife? Durian, you need knife or uh, axe? <laughs> when I heard this tafsir, I, I praised Allah. I never heard this tafsir that I'm going to tell you now, before, until lately. SubhanAllah, as if Allah knows I'm going to give you this uh, tafsir, and Allah. He knows, of course. Yes, the old tafsir that all of us know is that she gave them fruits as they were eating. She told him, Yusuf, come, let, let these women see you. So he passed. When they saw him, Akbarnahu, he became so big for them. He became so, they went crazy about him. To the extent that they forgot that they had sharp knives. And then not only they cut the fruits, but they kept, they kept cutting their hands. It's not just one. One, I understand. Oh, I stop. No, they did like this. As he was passing, he just passed. They were like this. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, they didn't cut all their hands. That's one tafsir. The other tafsir, no, it's like this. She gave them the knives, listen. She gave them the knives, and she expect them to cut their hand to say, sorry, we were wrong. Here. It's uh, the old Egyptian society to show your tawbah and Confess to someone, you cut your hand. It's, it's there in uh, sociology, you study and anthropology history, that some people used to cut them. Like the Japanese, they, yeah, they, they, they finish the, when they feel the guilt. So the Egyptians, those days, to, to say sorry to you when they admit you are wrong, when they admit that they were wrong, is to cut off the hand. Meaning I expect you to cut off your hand. Because you blamed me for this, now see him. Actually, she was a million times better than them because it took her years to fall into him. They saw him first time, few seconds, they went crazy. What they did, they all got up and cornered him. They took him to a corner and they all came, married women. That's the danger, my brothers, when you go to parties. <laughs> Serious. Lately, someone sent me a video of a company boss dancing with his, uh, how come? Careful, your bosses, huh? I don't know what goes in your mind. <coughs> and you, ladies, follow them. <coughs> Never let them alone. 
Serious. They may not feel Allah fear you at least. They will not. <laughs> Most men don't feel Allah. They fear you. And put all kind of... I allow you to carry big bag when you go with your husband. Spray. You know, blinding spray. Whatever. Hammer. Stone. Rock. Heavy. So that... Like bear. Brothers. You wish your wife hit you like that and not burn in hell. I mean it. Careful, brothers. It's not you. It's the, it's the industry. It's the culture. Malaysia is becoming more Westerner than Islamic. Sorry to tell you this. The more you're building masajid, you are building more uh, malls. More malls. Allahu Akbar. Okay, so when she heard of, who was reading? Did I ask one of the sisters to read? Yeah. You finished, okay. Uh, so when she heard of their accusation, she sent for them and prepared the banquet for them. And subhanAllah, they came. Women, even when they talk bad about you, you invite them, they still come. <laughs> Takbir, you talk bad about me, why you come? No, curious. Women are very curious. They love to go to this. Why? Because they wanted to, you know, see her. Although they talk bad about her, no problem. She gave each one, each one of them a knife to cut the food stuff. That's the tafsir. And she said, she was very, uh, look how clever she was. She gave them first, she gave them the fruits and she gave them the knife. And then she said, Yusuf, come. She didn't call him before the knives were in their hands. They forgot the knives. Yeah. Ah, the moment he came, come out before them. Let them see you. Then he passed. Of course, Shai, he's, he's a, almost slave. He's a slave in her house. When they saw him, they exalted him at his beauty and in their astonishment, cut their hands. They said, how perfect is Allah or forbid, Allah forbid, no man is this. This is not a man. This is none other than a noble angel. When they saw his beauty, they went crazy. So women like beauty, brothers. Like men like beauty. So it's not just us who, when we see, wow. They also like beauty. So please look after yourselves. Look, look nice. Like where? Yes. Serious. You have to look very nice. Before you enter your home, if your wife is uh, at home, you have to make sure, am I okay? It's not just when you're getting out. Yes, that's Sunnah of Rasulullah Before he enters home, he fixes himself. Peace be upon him. They have right over us. And don't take your women wherever other men are, because she may compare you with the other guy who is, who is more handsome than you. And you look like 12 a.m. The other guy look like 5 a.m. Fajr. You look like about to sleep. Like bear. You don't know his jokes. <laughs> They're Algerian. Like bear. No, serious, serious. You should look handsome for your wife. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made sure, like, we clean ourselves, we, sh we don't let them smell a bad thing if we are coming from work, uh, put perfume on, wear nice dress, look, mashallah, not just when you're going out. So that's a normal thing. Now they are women, they are group. At least she was alone. At least she was alone, right? When she did what she did. Now they are women, they forget that other women are with them, which is very hard for women when they are together to sin. Yet, they are going to corner him and ask him to do zina with them. What do you think they are going to tell him? Which means this society didn't care, had no ethics whatsoever. 
So it is mercy of Allah that he sent them a prophet to teach them. To teach them the deen. That these things are very bad. Don't do, don't do them. So that's how corrupt society was. Wasn't only in the... In, it was very unjust. You are... Uh, by the way, the only prison mentioned in the Quran is Egyptian prison. They know you are innocent. Still they put you. Morsi. They know he is innocent. They put him in jail until he dies in jail. Same thing, Yusuf. He, they, they knew he was, uh, he was innocent, but still put him. They don't care. Egypt is very notorious with prisons. Ask Allah never to have any problem in Egypt. Huh? All, all, all. Uh, any Muslim goes in uh, jail in Egypt, na'udhu billah. So we continue next week, inshallah, with what she tells them. After they do that, when they cut their hands off, she said, that's what you blame me for. Meaning I knew all what you said about me, but I still invited you. So that's why I tell you, this woman, known as Zulaikha, by the way, there is no truth about Zulaikha, wedding, may Allah make our bride a groom like Yusuf and our bride like Yusuf. Who told you that? Where did you get this story from? That's why most of your marriages don't work. Like there. Allahu Akbar. You think he, he married that woman? Na'udhu Billah. Come on, guys. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. In, in Malay wedding, sometimes yeah, uh, the, host, the host will offer a prayer and say that we hope that your marriage will last like the Prophet and Aisha. Yes. Also mentioned, we hope that your marriage will also be like Yusuf. That's what I'm saying is wrong. I thought it was wrong. That's wrong. Yeah. They still do it. In so many, many weddings, I attend. They always mention that. Yeah, you should not do. Alhamdulillah. You don't do. That's how you stop this nonsense. It starts with us. You tell people, please don't do that. If someone is getting married, like any one of your children getting married, you please don't do that. That's how. Clear, inshallah? And those who are not married, brothers, get married quickly. But this is the one being led by the Ustaz. Yeah, that's the problem. Like there. Most of your ustaz need to re be reformated, like computer. True, true. Give me that ministry. Give me ministry of religious Why affairs. Was never mentioned. Huh? Huh? Uh, Yusuf's wife was never mentioned. Exactly. I don't know why they make Zulaikha. My brothers and sisters, don't change the subject. Those who are not married, get married quickly. Sisters also, sister, your marriage failed with the first one doesn't mean all men are saved. Yalla, Allah gives you a good man, husband, and look for iman, don't look for money. He may be less rich than you, but good mu'min, take him. You brothers, don't say no, I am just married, get married. At least you will have a widow to cry for you, a sister to cry. You go, you go to the grave uh, like that, cold, at least someone will cry for you. Takbir. And don't worry about your money. Your money will be inherited. <laughs> Takbir. <laughs> the money that you are saving will be divided. Okay? I'm, I'm, I'm not saying donate. Just at least spend it on yourself. Eat well, travel, Algeria, this, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> And don't be afraid of death. You don't die because you're sick. You die because your time is up. Remember that. If you are sick, don't say, man, I have heart problem, this problem. It's not that that will kill you. What will kill you is you could be very healthy. It's not. Please understand that. It's your agent. Just please try to meet Allah. Ask Allah, Ya Rab, when you call me, that day should be the best day towards you. Let's say I do sadaqah or I pray a lot that day or 
I do dua, I make tawbah sincere. You know what I mean? Or you intended to do something good. Like one sister just died there on Saturday. May Allah have mercy on her. Amen. She told her daughter and the maid, clean me, clean me. I want to pray. So they removed her diaper, clean her. She made wudu. She's waiting for Maghrib. Died 10 minutes before Maghrib of Friday. She could have died after Maghrib and it's considered Saturday. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We buried her um, Saturday morning. Inna lillahi wa she, she, she even wanted to pray. Six years in the bed. Six years. In the bed. Cannot move. Six years. Halas. No matter, no matter how long you're going to be in pain. Allah, Allah knows. When you cannot, no more, he takes you. But her daughter read with her Al-Kafi that day. And said, talk, 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 talk. Prepare me to pray. <gasps> she, said, uh, she was telling me, just to, that's all. Alhamdulillah, Allah took her back. Khalas. MashaAllah. And the last thing her husband told her, I love you, I love you. He was going to Maghrib. Her husband, 75 years old, she's 71. He was telling her like, that, Alhamdulillah, the last thing she heard from him, it could be a fight between him and her. <laughs> Takbir, right. It could be like, I wish I never married you. Uh, okay, you wish Allah, the door was open, your wish went, came back. Yalla, bye-bye. That's why I always say good words. And fix problem with your wife right away. Don't say tomorrow. <coughs> tomorrow she comes to me and kiss my hand. Tomorrow she will kiss your forehead, maybe dead. Or you kiss her forehead, <laughs> too late. Don't let shaitan. Uh. So the sisters who are not yet married and can get married, yalla bunkus, good, good luck. The brothers, <laughs> serious. If, if you married and it didn't work with one or two or three or four or ten, takbir. But you are that good, people. Anyways, you are that good. Ya Allah, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. Amen. Give shifa to Tu'mami, Haji Zain, Tun Saleh, Amen. all my brothers and sisters Amen. whom I know and I don't know if you are sick, may Allah grant you shifa Amen. and full recovery, insha'Allah. Alhamdulillah, if you have someone sick in the family, may Allah help you Amen. to look after that person and remember that you have so much pahala looking after anyone, even giving him water to drink his medicine. Amen. Allah will reward you for that. So never feel tired of helping someone in need. Because it could be you. It could be somebody very close to you. Like a son, na'udhu billah, with a daughter. So always try to help as much as you can. Also, say good words to people when they are sick. It's going to be all right. Give them hope. Don't uh, scare them. Ya Rab, my... Uh, host, Brother Shah and his wife, may Allah bless them. MashaAllah, uh, I am uh, thankful to Allah that he chose them to host us. As meaning Allah wants to give them pahala, inshaAllah. Ya Rabbil Alameen, forgive us all. <coughs> forgive us all. Huh? Hey, the sponsors for the food, may Allah feed them in dunya and akhirah. All those brothers and sisters who are bringing food with them, especially those who sponsor the dinner. May Allah sponsor them in dunya and akhirah. Amen. 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 Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Assalamu alaikum.